Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we started to fight in the Bridge District by just entering into a building. Though this isn't the first time in Athcatla that that's happened. We also watched Biff the Understudy completely ruin a play that he's in because he's not very good at acting. Their main actor for the role, Herr Delise, has been kidnapped by a wizard, and we've agreed to help find him. We've been told to look in the sewers beneath the city, and the only place that we know of where we can access the sewers is in the Temple District, so we're going to head that way. And it looks like we've stumbled across something that I've never seen before. That's a guard, and that's a guard, and this is Lord Feveran and Lady Diana. I wonder what they're doing here. Let's talk to them. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Oh, look, my dear. It is a commoner trying to speak to us. My dear Lord Feveran, if you insist on demeaning the peasants as they approach us, you will upset them all. I have no wish to start another riot. But, but darling, it is so fun to make light of the peasantry. No, my lord. I'm afraid I must insist. We have business here, remember? I'm afraid you simply must apologize. Oh, very well. My apologies, commoner. Your smell offends me almost as much as your demeanor, but as a noble, I must learn to tolerate both. Now go away. There, there now. Was that so hard? He certainly had difficulty doing that. He's very rude. Are you just as rude as he is? Let's find out. Is it important, peasant? Hmm, what do you think, my Lord Feveran? Is this the one we were supposed to come here and see? How should I know, my dear Lady Diana? <laughs> These commoners all look alike to me. Yes, that is true. Dusty and sweaty, each and every one of them. It does upset my delicate nature to be so near to them sometimes. You are a brave, brave soul, my sweet. Oh, thank you, darling. It is so kind of you to say such. Not at all, not at all. Now do send the smelly peasant away, yes? Oh, yes, I'd almost forgotten. Thank you, Lord Feveran. Mm. Go away, peasant. Shoo! Shoo! Okay, you're just as rude as he is. Let's see what the guards have to say. Declare yourself. I'm an escort to my Lord Feveran and my Lady Diana. You will maintain your manners with them or suffer the consequences. Now off with you, citizen, before you make trouble. And do you say the same thing? Declare yourself. I'm an exact duplicate of the person right next to me, except I wear a slightly brighter shade of red. If I talk to you again, does your dialogue change? My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. I... I'm sorry. Are you addressing us again? Do go away. What about you? I don't usually speak to the likes of you, but... Hello. Eek! The commoner is speaking to me again. What should I do? Shoo! 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 I don't think they're going to talk to us any further. So, let us leave and go to where we're meant to be heading. The Temple District, once again. We've had to go here quite a lot. And I had my hand next to the paws, just in case... Oh! Hello, Night Watch Abeer. You are aggressive to us. I don't know why you are, but I'm going to have to fight you. Hopefully... Nope, nope, we didn't lose any experience for defeating you. You must have just been somebody that I didn't notice as we were leaving here. Are you going to be aggressive? Nope, nope, you're all fine. You literally could see us kill him, but you don't appear to care. Fair enough. Let us descend down into the sewers and see to finding this wizard. Are you someone I can talk to? Nope, you're just a nobleman. You probably don't have unique dialogue. So, let's head down. Now, where haven't we been here? There is a secret entrance there and a secret entrance there. We could pop into here and see if this is where we need to go, because we haven't really explored over there. Also, we found a green slime. Let us do battle with the green slime. There you go, you can just uh, go back and engage in combat. That was brief, but 65 experience is 65 experience. Let us go this way. 
And before I go into there, let us ready trap detection, because there could be some traps in here. In fact, I'm pretty sure that there will be a trap or two in here. Nothing? Nope, it would seem like there's nothing. Fair enough. Let us save, because that 65 experience may not be there if we decide to go there again. Also, it's not an LLP, it's an LP. There we go. Yes, Let's head in this direction. Ooh! I think we found where what we need to be. Here is a lightning method, here is a now. ice method, hmm. and here is a dust method. None of these are going to be especially tricky to fight, because we are very high level for this uh, area. And there are more methods coming! Aha! You thought you could best us? You can't. Also, you appear to have a status effect. Glass dust. I have no idea what that is. Does that just mean you take a little more damage from things? I don't know, but we certainly are taking a lot of... Well, moving you there was probably a poor mistake. Remember when I said that uh, this place wouldn't be too tricky? Look at all the damage that we've taken, because I was a little bit clumsy. Ah well, I'm sure the glass dust effect will fade in time. There are a few things that we can look at here. Actually, there are quite a lot of things that we can look at here. Are any of them trapped? I don't think there are any traps here. Let's have a look. See what there is. Books. Ooh, a spell. That's worth grabbing. That's also worth grabbing. I don't think that's one that Edwin has. And those are just books. Let's have a look. No, I think you do have that one, or you just can't learn it. But either way, you are lucky I'm here. let's look around and be very cautious about doing so. I think that is the way up, or is that just the way down? That's probably just the way back down. Fear not. I'm watching Got to be eye. careful as we explore. Of course. What's over here? The answer is, there are some things that we can look at. And there is an Umba Hulk. An Umba Hulk is here? Wow. Yeah. Okay, you're going to be fighting that. There are a lot of Umba Hulks here. Right. Um, yes. didn't expect that to happen. I think it's haste time. Actually, no, let's not haste, because we need to save our, um, our charge of haste, just in case we have to fight the wizard. We don't want to waste that, so we'll just have you fight here. There's also a Minotaur that we need to watch out for, but we should be okay. The Umberhulk shouldn't be using their ability anymore. Terry should be able to deal with these just fine. One taken care of. Come one, come all! Fight Terry Coleman and perish. Okay, you're actually getting a few hits in. But we should be relatively okay. We also have healing potions. Should we need them? I wonder if it's the Umberhulks or if it's the Minotaur that hurts here. But oh dear! That's not so great. I think a uh, really nice healing spell might work here. Actually, don't do that. Cast Regeneration. That will uh, work just fine. There we go. Now you're regenerating three hit points every second. That should mitigate any amount of damage that you're going to take. You're certainly doing some killing right now, Lilacor. I don't think you can complain. There we go. I could have sent Corgan ahead, but sending Corgan ahead has the risk of uh, the Berserk making him tired, and I don't want to uh, use his Berserk needlessly. There's the Minotaur. It could very well have been the Minotaur that was dealing a lot of damage to me, but we are about to uh, heal away all of that damage and deal with you. Combat over. Remember when I thought that this wouldn't be tricky? I'm going to take back that statement. I wonder if it's harder because we're a higher level and we're doing this. Maybe. In here? Ooh, a magic necklace. I always like getting magic necklaces. Magic necklaces usually have really cool powers. 
and we could do with a few more of them. Right, put this in there, this in there, this in here. And what is this? The Necklace of Form Stability. Didara of the Altered was a witch of great temper who rewarded the slightest insult with harsh punishment. Often this meant several weeks transformed into some form of wild beast, which of course earned her many enemies. It is recorded that she once fought a mage named Maxwell, who had previously suffered such a fate. For his return, he had prepared this necklace, designed to prevent her changing his form but he could not shield those around him as well. Apparently an impromptu army of farmers turned bears eventually overwhelmed him. Yes, bears are nasty. You learn this to your peril. We've known this for a while. So, we have a necklace here that somebody could use. Actually, we're pretty full on necklace slots, but could be useful if we end up needing to, uh, deal with a polymorpher, and we could find a few of them. Regeneration doesn't last very long, but it was certainly helpful. Also, more things that are trapped. Ooh, I can see why. That is a carrion summon scroll. That's pretty good. Let's move forward cautiously, shall we? And be mindful of the fact that there will be more traps. And there is someone that looks kind of important, so time to save and look around here very carefully. And then have you move forward and see if there is a trap in this room. Oh, there are two traps in this room! There's this one here, and there's this one right here! And this is locked! I wonder how you lock... Ooh, we can't yeah. do anything with Ooh, that. Like. Hmm. Let's go and look at you. That is Herr Delise. That is who we are looking for. So let's step forward and... Oh, oh, don't go that way, please. You're probably going to end up going all the way around and finding the wizard. Let's see if we can persuade you to come with us. I serve only Master Mekrath. The man looks at you blankly for a moment, and then speaks. Well, this doesn't look good. This man's mind is not his own. He is being controlled. Hmm, I'd say this man has been rendered magically mindless. A zombie servant. How useful. I can think of several others who could use such similar treatment. So we need to yeah, find the wizard. Also, want. we can look at this. It appears as if construction for a second level was started, but never finished. There is a barrel here that we can look in! Treasure! Don't mind me, we want this potion. And we do want this potion because we just drank quite a few potions. Now, we want to go this way, I imagine, because this way will lead, hopefully, to where the wizard is. And my, do we want to find this wizard. This wizard has some infuriatingly powerful guards. I don't remember there being Umberhulks and a Minotaur. There may have been one Umberhulk, but like five? That's a lot. It's a lot more than one, that's for sure. We'll have you three go forward first, and then you three go to here. Is this where the wizard is? No. It is where things that we can look at are, though. And a table! With a skeleton on it. More traps? Yep, more traps. There have been a lot of traps so far, not surprising that we find a few more. That one's dealt with, and that's locked as well. And in here are quite a few goodies. Mainly potions are here. Now, you have some of these. This is a uh, potion of invulnerability. Ooh, that's quite nice. And that's the wrong bag. Don't put things in the wrong bag. These are just some scrolls. We know both of them. And more potions. If only there was a potion bag, and this is when someone tells me, There is a potion bag, Kiko! You didn't grab it from this store! That wouldn't be surprising. This is locked. It's not trapped, though. And that would have been a good time for a trap to go off, and then I would have looked really silly, but no! 
There really was no trap. That's the best I am relieved. I imagine the wizard is over here. Or the wizard is upstairs. The wizard could very well be upstairs. If there is an upstairs. Okay, over here is a... Something stranger. What is this? Intruders within Mekrath's domain? What brings you here, foolish woman? Speak quickly, for I do not suffer errant fools gladly. Do not threaten me, wizard. I go where I like. Not within my sanctum, you do not. This is my place of power, fool. Challenge me only if you dare. So be it. One less wizard in this world shall draw no tears. You dare to attack me? In my own sanctum? Foolish woman, I shall enjoy rending you limb from limb with my magic! Go okay! We have a wizard to deal with, and you're about to be power word silenced. Okay, you have done a few things with spells, but you now can't actually do anything. So, we probably could do... Oh no, you actually can do stuff, but you're probably not going to last very long. In part because you are not a super high level wizard. And we have a very high level wizard. And we're also about to haste here. Oh no! You summoned one skeleton, and now you are dead. That was not very difficult. You can actually not fight Mekrath and decide instead that you're going to do a task for Mekrath to uh, earn Herd Elise's freedom. But you know what? Mekrath started off rude and Terry has no patience for this right now, so Mekrath is dead. And the loot that Mekrath had is not that fantastic for our team. It's not bad if you decided to come here very early on. You have a maid robe of fire resistance, which isn't too terrible if you need fire resistance, and a quarter staff plus one. If you thought I was going to fire a fireball at you, Mekrath, mm. oh no, I was just going to hit you a lot until you died. You it's kind of what my party me? does. Hits things a lot until the opponents die. Any traps here? No. There are some treasures, though. Some wands that look pretty good. This one especially. It's a rod. We actually don't know the identity of it. This, however, is a uh, wand of cloud kill. This, though, is a rod of resurrection. This rod enables anyone to resurrect the dead as if they were of high enough level to cast the resurrection spell, and if they were a priest. No rest is required as the rod bestows the life-giving effects. Each use of the rod expends one charge. This has ten charges, and that is really powerful and quite expensive. And what can can we rest that? in here? We can! Marvelous. Yeah. I like the fact that we can heal up. Now Tell let us that. go and speak to Herd Elise, as there's a good chance that with Mekrath dead, we can get Herd Elise out of here. Whatever. Oh, my head spins with sullen fire and strange, lurid notions instead of memories. But what is this? My captor lies dead. I can feel it. And the sparrow spies his glorious saviors. Oh, what grand joy! Poetry overwhelms this sparrow's heart. In a blaze of trumpets, with wicked blades held high, thus came ye fates of chaos to let this sparrow fly. Hedelis does like a bit of theatrics. And fly you shall, my friend. Raylus Shy has seen to it. You are with Raylus? Well, well, well. My hide might yet be saved. Come, let me join with you, and we shall be done with the foul humours of this place. I was hired to rescue you, and I doubt Raylus would be pleased to find I'd stolen you into my own fold. Honour bound and honour branded, is it then? Very well, lawyer. You have set me free, and for that I thank you. But within this wizard's lair is an altar containing a most necessary gem that dear Mekrath stole from me. Find it, and bring it to me at Raylus' side, where we may discuss your foolish contract further. Hedelis will leave, and we've been told that we must return the to the thing. altar that we couldn't previously open. I imagine we can open it now that Mekrath is dead. 
Also, you're having difficulty getting over to the altar. This place is very narrow and cramped, and uh, isn't that great for pathfinding? Also, we don't want that axe. That axe, uh, not very valuable. Can we open this now? We can! There is a portal gem, a Laryl's Tear Necklace, another one. We have been doing well with uh, finding those. And... What would you have me do? Certainly. This. There we go. We'll look at this. A portal gem is used to open up portals between the planes. Few know how to use these gems, and they are said to occasionally have undesirable side effects. This particular gem was found on an altar in the house of Mechrath. As for this magical harp, this is the Harp of Discord. Even the most talented bard cannot get this harp to play in tune. Each stroke of the harp strings results in a harsh, off-key note. If the bard attempts to play a proper ballad upon the harp, its magical effects are released. All creatures, other than the bard and his or her party, must make a saving throw versus spell, or be confused for 30 seconds. It's a really good item. Duration 5 rounds, confusion 3 times a day, usable only by a bard, a blade, a jester, or a scowl, which pretty much makes it worthless for my group, because we do not have a bard. Now, Herr Delise is a bard, and Herr Delise can use that item. It's nice that they give you an item for the party member that you've just got in your group, but we are not going to have him with us, because we have a full else. party, and Herdelise, I believe, is chaotic neutral, and thus really won't fit in. And so, when we come back, busy, folks, okay, we've got Herdelise free, and yeah, we also found master. the gem that we were told now? to go and find. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll return mm. to the Five Flagons Inn and report on our success. Hopefully we'll get even more money than we were initially promised. We could do with a little more cash. That said, we do have a lot of valuable gems. We have two Laurel's Tear necklaces there, and I believe you also have a few of them. You have one there. So that is three. That's a yeah. couple of thousand right there. We could very well have 80,000 gold by the end of this series of quests, because it's all coming back to me now. This quest leads to another mm. quest with an item that I'm surprised I've let myself get through all of Chapter 2 without. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.